Hello everyone, Mike Reppel here from Another Set of Eyes with today's Excel Bytes blog post. Today we're going to take a look at an often used uh, option within Excel, but it has a few interesting variations that maybe many of, many of us don't use as frequently as we possibly can. And that is the Find and Select option in the, on the Excel ribbon. Um, I'm going to go over to this uh, sheet and uh, in the home tab on the ribbon to the far right there's an area called find and select and you can see all the various options that are there. Uh, we've used find a lot I'm sure you have too when you want to find a certain option like here I have a uh, lip set up to find and I click on find all and notice that a uh, list of the cells that contain LIP are then listed there. Um, and you can also do a replace. In this case, if I want to replace lip with green, I do a find all. It gives me that, and then I can do a replace all. Tell, notice it's telling me it's made five replacements, and you can see where we had uh, lipstick here, and now it says green stick. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and undo that just to change it back. But again, the simple find and replace items that you often see and often use in that um, using that function within Excel. But there's a few other options which um, uh, I, I like to point out and uh, I've started to use quite frequently. Uh, notice here in the find and select uh, you can select formulas. So if I select that notice uh, cells D, E, and F on row 10 all light up. Um, notice I have a simple concatenation there. Here a VLOOK with the concatenate option, and here address min and if functions are all in that cell. So again, selecting formulas, all three of those light up. Another option is comments. Uh, you can see I select that and the word category here and location, both having the red triangle, which is the comment indicator. But by going to find and select and selecting comments, those two are now highlighted. Another one is conditional formatting. Uh, here you can see cells L3 to L11 have been highlighted. If I go to conditional formatting and go to manage rules, you'll be able to see that I have a conditional format here and it applies to L3 to L11, which is what was highlighted when I selected that in the find and select option. Another one is constants. By selecting that, notice everything that isn't a formula, that's a direct entry into a cell, is now highlighted um, when I select Find and Select Constants. And lastly is data validation. Notice when you're looking at a, 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 a worksheet and you have data validation, it's really hard to identify where that data validation is. By doing a Find and Select, and going to data validation, uh, you can see that cells B10 and C10 both highlight there. And by clicking on those, you can see I have them both set up for data validation. One thing to be careful when you're doing a find and select, um, let me just show you here again. If I select constants, notice how uh, all those highlighted. If I accidentally have a couple cells highlighted, when I do my find and select, Excel, uh, Excel is going to say it hasn't found anything because instead of looking in the whole worksheet, it's only looking in the cells I may have selected. So before you do any find and select, make sure you have no more than one cell clicked on. And when I do that for constants, now all of those uh, highlight and indicate where the constants are located. So there you have it, a nice little function in Excel called Find and Select that gives you the option to locate various um, functions or options or applications that you've placed in Excel. I hope you like that, and if you want to find uh, more about the blogs that I post, please go to excel-bytes.com and feel free to subscribe to my blog post. Happy Excelling!